Hello, my friends, my family, and my followers. It's Hike 360 here. I'm here to give you a new hike. Hello, my friends, my family, and my followers. It's Hike 360 here, and I'm here to give you a new hike this week. I am at Geode State Park in Iowa right now. Uh, it is the morning, and Jay and I have just woken up. We're getting ready to do a seven mile hike around Lake Geode. Jay has not been on Hike 360 before, so let's go on over and say hi to Jay. Jay, say hi to the people. Hi, people. We are uh, halfway through a fun, fun adventure. Uh, yesterday we were in St. Louis. We were at the Gateway Arch National Park. Got to go to the top and that was really neat. Before that we were in um, French Village, Missouri for a festival called Reconnection. And now we're here and heading to Starved Rock in a bit. So yeah, we're really stoked to, to be doing this together. And I'm happy to be here. <laughs> so let me show you the campsite. We are at Site 90. And this part of the campgrounds is tent camping only. So we got one other neighbor. We were just talking to them. That's Beth and Rick. And they're really funny because they offered their vanilla extract to put on our face and our hands to deter the gnats. So we just put a bunch of that on and we smell super great. Uh, we'll see if it actually deters the gnats. But yeah, really restful sleep last night in the tent. Uh, the campground is super nice and peaceful and there's a lot of uh, wood uh, in the surrounding area that I was able to gather up and make a fire with last night. All right, we back. We're about five and a half miles through the hike. We got a mile and a half to go. And uh, Jay and I wanted to go over some of the things we've seen on this hike here at Geode State Park. Uh, it's been pretty special. Jay, why has it been so special? Uh, found some cool stuff. Like we what? Found, what did we find? I found a snake skin. Okay, that so this this snake cool. skin, this snake skin was like, show them how long it was. It's like yay long if I had it stretched out, maybe a little longer. And it was like completely intact. There were no like breaks at any point. It was like the longest intact snakeskin I've ever seen. The textures were fire. Pretty cool. Got some good photos. Uh, and then Ryan found a very small bird egg that had been cracked open. Um, it was empty, but it had a really cool design and pattern on it. Tiny. It very small. Tiny. I mean, smaller than a quail egg. Of course, smaller than a chicken egg. Uh, I don't know what came out of it because it was... It was literally it was like that big. Pretty small. What else did we find? Found a carcass. A carcass. It was mostly decomposed. And I found this pristine bone. Look. It looks like something that you'd get at a pet store shop. Pet pet shop. Pet store? At but a, you buy for your dog. Yeah, um, something like you buy at PetSmart for yeah, a dog. Yeah, it looks like was manufactured because it's in such good shape. Um, it looks waxy. It's a little waxy. I can see a small fracture in it. Um, we had the idea that it could be a deer or maybe like a coyote, um, some kind of dog. I'm assuming this is a leg bone or like femur. But like the whole like skeleton was there. I mean, it was crazy how how many bones were there in in ta in place. I mean, you could see the whole skeleton from head to to tail. Got some cool photos with the skull as well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It wasn't gross because it was mostly decomposed. Um, so it's not like there were maggots or anything. There's a little bit of hair still on parts of it, but. I don't know. The thing that stuck out most with this bone is like the the grooves and indents. I, I've really not seen such a such a pristine condition bone. Once we make it back to camp and the restrooms, I definitely plan on giving it a good wash 
and then sealing it inside of a Ziploc bag for our next travels. Um, there's a hole right there where the bone marrow would be. And I don't see anything in there crawling around, but... Mm, okay, yeah, I do. You do? <laughs> I see it looks like some tiny white worms or maggots, maybe. All right, it gets yeah, get a but, good good. But good I'll wash. I'll seal it up really nice so you know nothing escapes into my car. Y'all know that bone marrow is tasty, so the maggots are all about it. So yeah, I think I covered everything. Catch you in the next one. Peace.